Hello guys, this is Sumadhar here. Uh, in this video, we will be covering uh, Lean Operations, uh, Chapter 16 from the 12th edition of Operations Management by Heiser, Rand, and Munson. Um, in this chapter, uh, if you've gone through the, the Chapter 12 of Inventory Management, this is just a slight modification of that. Lean Operation basically talks about uh, how to reduce the waste. Uh, there are a couple of terms uh, that you need to know. For example, uh, Kaizen and Kanbans. Uh, the Kanban says uh, something that triggers uh, the next action. Um, and the, the philosophy of lean operation is against, uh, or the opposite rather I should say, uh, of wherein people would try to keep more inventory in order to keep higher service level. The, the lean operations relies on a very smooth, reliable, uh, but frequent supplies and deliveries. Uh, such that you can reduce the, the, the inventory that you have to keep on hand which requires that you get more frequent deliveries. So essentially what it does is it reduces the size of the order quantity and it reduces therefore reduces also the, the inventory that you have to maintain. Okay, So going off of that philosophy, uh, the lean operation says that you should make small batches that require small uh, setup times and so on. So the, the, there's only one variation, um, I mean one of the variations that we come across is uh, how many Kanbans or how many triggers do you need. So one way to look at that is if you remember in the inventory we, we came across the, the scenario where the demand was variable and then we wanted to keep uh, some safety stock in order to account for the variation in either the demand or the lead time. So this, if you were to account for the demand during the lead time and the safety stock, together that becomes an order quantity or the larger demand. Uh, and if you were to divide that by, let's say, in, in the inventory management that was called E or Q, in this case, if you were to divide that by the size of container, then that gives you the number of orders you'll end up placing in that's what translates to the number of Kanbans or the number of uh, triggers that you have to, to do. So let's look at the variation of this, this problem from one of the end of the chapter problems. So this is one of the problems, 16.5 uh, from um, the 12th edition. So we are given the, the daily demand of 250 units. The production lead time is about half a day. Um, and safety stock is about quarter of a day and the Kanban size uh, is 50 units. So every time you place an order it comes out in the batches of 50s. Now it takes half a day for them to plan and start actually production from the time, I mean the time they, they want to start producing to the time they actually start producing is half a day. Safety stock they want to keep it for a quarter of a day. Okay, so let's bring everything in the same units. First of all, um, if you want to calculate based off of the demand during lead time and safety stock and so on. So let's convert this production lead time times 250 units. That's about 125 units. And the safety stock of a quarter of a day translates into uh, 62.5 units. Okay, so we are talking of about a total of this plus this as 127, also oh 187.5. That becomes our numerator here. Okay, um, therefore, now all we need to do is to, in order to calculate the Kanban size is divide this number, um, which translates into uh, control shift T. So we know this number to be 187 in our case, 187.5. We know the Kanban size, it comes in the batches of 50 units, so that will give us the number of Kanbans we need. Okay, so this equals to 187 divided by 50. So we need about 3.75 Kanbans or in, in other words, 
we will need 3.75 number of orders okay but in in the terminology of lean operations it's uh, it would be the number of kanbans needed okay now similarly um, there's another question uh, which is you should be able to recognize from the inventory management uh, we first need to calculate the EOQ uh, the given information says that the annual demand is 2000 lamps um, wherein this uh, the ordering cost is $30 and annual carrying cost per lamp is $12 so control shift dollar just to make sure that these are in dollar values so EOQ should be easy to calculate by now equals to 2 times the demand times the setup cost divided by the holding cost and all of this needs to be uh, square root so parenthesis end of parenthesis shift 6 raised to power point 5 okay so the best uh, quantity to order is 100 at this time the the holding cost would be this is not visible so home wrap text okay <coughs> so the cost of ordering first we need to calculate the number of orders so the number of orders we'll end up placing in a year is 2000 divided by 100 because every time we place an order we place 100 uh, units and in order to get to 2000 lamps in a year we'll end up placing about 20 such orders but every one single order costs us thirty dollars therefore twenty orders will cost us twenty times thirty that's six hundred now if you remember the the if, if you're placing the orders of hundred then on an average we have the inventory level of hundred divided by two so it uh, on an average if this is what you have on hand when the single lamp costs you twelve dollars to store then fifty lamps would cost you six hundred dollars now this is not a coincidence that the ordering cost is equal to the holding cost it's one of the assumptions um, uh, of the economic order quantity model okay so the total cost we are dealing with is six hundred plus this six hundred okay total of twelve hundred dollars that's about it in, in this chapter in terms of uh, numerical problems are concerned. If you guys have any questions, feel free to contact me. Uh, that's about it. Thank you. Bye.